Hello, my name is Courtney Clark, and I am the program director of Everywhere She Maps for Youth Mappers. Hello, everyone. I'm Maliha Binte Mohuddin, and I'm a PhD student in West Virginia University. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Um, so, first, I just want to introduce you to what Youth Mappers is. We are a global university based consortium of campus chapters that are student-led, but also have faculty mentors. Um, and these chapters are creating and using public geospatial data, including through OpenStreetMap, to identify and address issues that they um, are really passionate about in their own communities. Um, so we're really excited. Uh, we have now over 300 chapters in 65 different countries around the world, um, and over 5,000 student members of our network. Um, we really emphasize putting the students at the center of everything that we do um, and empowering them to decide how and where they put themselves on the map. In 2020, we launched a program called Everywhere She Maps, um, and this is really focused on increasing women's participation in leadership of the network. Um, we want to strengthen the inclusiveness, not only of the Youth Mappers Network, but also of the entire geospatial field and industry, um, and really help make sure that women's perspectives are represented in data sets like OSM, but also apps, mapping platforms, tech, AI, and more. Um, we know that fewer than 10% of OpenStreetMap contributors are women, and critical features and attributes that are most relevant to women and girls are missing from maps as a result of their underrepresentation in this field. So we founded Everywhere She Maps based on the pillars listed on this slide um, because we really know from our own experiences that everywhere women map, security improves, um, lives are saved, power is generated, prosperity rises, and innovation happens. And I also want to be really clear that this program is also completely inclusive, not just of women, but of students who are gender non-conforming, non-binary, and fluid in their genders as well. So we carry out the Everywhere She Maps program through four core activities. Um, we, like I mentioned, want to increase gender equity by offering women students in our network opportunities to build their technical capacity enhance their professional networking skills, and contribute to mapping projects that add data that's relevant to women's needs. So these are our four core activities. We sponsor and assist with mapping campaigns. Um, for example, right now we're managing a project in rural Uganda to better map out rural water points. Um, we know, of course, that accessibility to water in this space um, especially affects women and girls who are responsible for retrieving that water on a daily basis. And so we're trying to um, make that an easier process for them with the use of geospatial data. We also have a team of regional ambassadors. Maliha was one of our regional ambassadors last year. Um, these are eight women leaders from around the world who are really the heart and the soul of the program. They are working day in and day out with our chapters and with individual students, mentoring them and helping them see how they can increase gender equity within their own Youth Mappers chapters. We also really focus on professional and career development, um, offering online workshops, partnering with organizations to share technical skills, but also soft skills to help our students really prepare for that transition from university to careers in geospatial tech academia, academia, but really all industries. And then finally, next year, we'll be really excited to launch a Women in Technology Leadership Fellowship. So keep an eye out for that. Hello, everyone. I'm Maliha, and I'm from Bangladesh. I'm a second year PhD student in WVU. I have started my journey with Youth Mappers in 2017. And today, I'm going to share with you some of the inspirational stories of Youth Mappers Leadership Fellows in 2017. Youth Mappers Leadership Fellow Program has enhanced the capacity building of the students across the globe, not only their mapping skills, but also their leadership skills and research activities. And I do believe that 
we have so much things to do in future too. So before dive into the main things, we are going to discuss about two questions that how did youth members impact them and how did this impact inspire them to do something different for their community and society. And the Youth Mappers Leadership Fellow Program took place in Kathmandu in 2017 for two weeks. And now we are sharing some of the stories uh, from those fellows who have attended that program in Nepal. What, the first one is Botan. He is from Ghana. He is a graduate research assistant in the University of Cape Coast. According to him, Youth Mappers Leadership Fellow Program has given him the depth understanding of GIS and using the toolbox like a Kobo toolbox. And then we have Temi Dayo, he's a Nigerian space scientist. He said it to me that Maliha, I felt that Youth Mappers Leadership Consortium has given me the platform to use the open data source for ending the poverty. Now we have Manjurul from Bangladesh. He's working as a DRR officer in the Bangladesh Red Crescent Society. According to him, Youth Mappers Leadership Program has been a life changer. And then we have Eliza from Kenya, and he's also working with IFRC. He said it to me that Maliha, I do believe that Youth Mappers has given me the knowledge production in terms of the information management in the national African society. Now we have Stella Maurice and she's from Uganda. She is a graduate research assistant and a master's student. And she, she according to her that Youth Mappers helped her to understand the community participation in the mapping activities. And then we have Sola from Malawi. She's also a graduate research assistant and a master's student in West Virginia University. According to her, Youth Mappers helped her to introduce with the geospatial technology. And now this is the roadmap of life change. And I think um, the roadmap of my life has been changed with the participation of the Youth Mappers Leadership Program in 2017 in Nepal. Because it has really opened a lot of doors for me. And it's not only have encouraged me to do something in geography, but also to bring the leadership skills and to speak up. And for that reason, probably today I'm standing in front of, in front of all of you. And, and through this leadership, I have been accepted for the National NGO Program on Humanitarian Leadership, which is organized by Concern Worldwide, Harvard Humanitarian Initiative. And then the same year, I have been selected as a mentor in Ministry of Disaster Management in Bangladesh. And in 2019 to 2020, I, I have served as a regional ambassador for Youth Mappers. I have trained the students not only in my country, Bangladesh, but also some uh, students in Japan and Philippines too. And then I have finished my master's degree in disaster management. So here's the thing that um, my whole background was in social science, but Youth Mappers has introduced me that how I can use mapping in the disaster affected areas with technology. And that really inspired me to do my PhD in 2021. I have just started it, my PhD in West Virginia University. I think the whole experience of Youth Mappers has really helped me as a driving force of leadership to represent the woman empowerment in my community and society. And then this is the picture that I am always being grateful to this person, to all of these persons because they have given me the wings to fly towards my dreams. And I do believe that through Youth Mappers program, I have envisioned the untraveled world through my mapping. And I do introduce myself that I'm a global citizen. And Youth Mappers is creating a revolutionary movement for us without any kind of discrimination in terms of class, gender, and religion, we are all equally treated with dignity and respect. And the thing what we always say that we don't just build maps, we build mappers. With your corporation, we aim to make as many as changes in young people's life as we can. So I'm right now giving the platform to Courtney Clark to speak more about it. Thank you so much, everyone.
Thank you so much, Maliha. You are a huge inspiration. Um, so it's really clear from everything Maliha just said that there is a huge positive impact on students' lives when they participate in Youth Mappers. Um, the alumni of this program are pursuing careers in geospatial, technology, academia, so many fields, and they're all really quickly rising stars. Um, so we could share so many stories like these, but we want to talk more about how you as individuals or your organizations can work with us to bring even more opportunity to Youth Mappers students. We have grown so much from our founding, just a handful of chapters to now over 300. Um, and so we want and need your help in introducing more students to these kind of transformative experiences. Um, so really, the bottom line is we would love for you to partner with us to introduce Youth Mapper students to career possibilities um, while also diversifying and expanding your own talent pipeline. Um, we know that today's Youth Mapper students are going to be tomorrow's highly skilled, highly networked leaders of this community, um, and we invite you to share your skills and knowledge with them in a few different ways. So first of all, we are looking always for mentors for Youth Mapper students. Um, partners can assist us by hosting group mentoring sessions on topics like skills students should be focused on to um, really kickstart their career after graduation, imposter syndrome and how to overcome it, and how to advocate for oneself in the workplace. And you don't need to be an experienced mentor or an expert in your field to do this. Actually, um, sometimes the most impactful mentor for a university student is that person who graduated just a few years ago and can really help navigate that transition to career. Um, we also have opportunities to mentor students on really specific time-limited research and field projects. So we have programs that provide students with support and funding to conduct research and field work projects. Um, they already have guidance from faculty advisors and from us as youth mappers, but a lot of them could really benefit from um, mentor mentorship from professionals who are actually working in industry. Maybe your technology or your platform or just your experience is exactly what a student needs to take their research to the next level or to unlock a creative solution to a pressing issue in their community. Um, we also host an online academy called Youth Mappers Academy. Um, we currently have 12 modules, and um, we really want to be developing additional modules, as well as hosting online professional development workshops for our students. So we want to hear from you, industry leaders and experts, what topics and skills should we be introducing these students to? What skills are they going to need um, to be relevant to your needs as um, as a company in the future as they're graduating and looking for those entry-level roles. So we've had past sessions really popular on how to appro approach coding for non-coders, um, how to build dynamic maps in Leaflet, and even just stories and examples of career paths are really powerful and profound for our student audience. Um, so really excited to hear from you all what other topics we should um, be focusing on and to bring you in and speak with our students as well. Um, and then finally, we know that many Youth Mapper students share a goal of securing that really important internship, apprenticeship, or um, entry-level role in geo, tech, but other industries as well. Um, we also know that women, and especially women of color, face significant barriers to entering and remaining in these industries. Um, so through Everywhere She Maps, we really want to help reduce these barriers by connecting qualified Youth Mapper students with employers who are genuinely committed to increasing diversity and inclusion at all levels of their organization. Um, so we currently have this program up and running. You can see our partners on the slide here, and I really love this quote from Lydia, she's a Youth Mapper student in Malawi who participated in an internship with Crouch Map Tanzania last semester. Um, and she, she and the other interns just really recommended the experience as something that was career and life changing for them um, and something that will um, be really meaningful as they seek to for their, their careers in GEO. 
We also are really curious um, to hear what else you think we should be doing or interesting ways that we can partner with you. Um, so I have our contact information here. I also have a digital business card so you can scan that QR code and get my contact information, learn more, um, and let's see how we can partner together. Thank you so much. Give it a round of applause.